So we're going to test these 458 Winchester Magnum rounds. They're loaded for subsonic, 16 grains of unique powder. And some of the loads have filler and others don't have the Dacron filler. So we're going to test with and without the filler with two different bullets. Starting with 340 grain lead round nose flat point. There's our Model 70. 458 Winchester Magnum and the amazing thing is that loophole 1 to 4 power variable scope, tactical scope, was bore sighted when we mounted it, did not require any adjustment at all. So here we go, the 340B and 16 grains of unique. From this angle, you should be able to see the filler make a little cloud out there. So right here is the point of aim for the siders and the two siders hit down here. I raised it up 40 clicks up, 8 clicks left. Well this is group number 2 and we're going to shoot the 340 grain bullet without the filler. No filler. So let's see how they compare with the loads that have the filler. Conditions at the range today are 62 degrees, little bit of wind, bright sun. Now we're going to shoot the 500 grain NOE. That's the one that is the 45500. It's the uh, HTC smooth sided bullet. 16 grains are unique.
Okay, barrel cooling. Now for the 500 grain bullet, NOE bullet, without the filler. Group 4 with the 500 grain NOE bullet, 1093, 1078. So to review, today we went to the range and tested the 458 Winchester with light loadings using two bullets. The Lee 458 340 grain round nose flat point, no gas check bullet, and also the NOE mold HTC 459 500 grain Spitzer SP and to give you a look at those bullets that one's not gas checked either so here are the bullets you see it's a plain base powder coated and then the Lee is a 340 grain also plain base lubed and powder coated bullet and here are our results now with the NOE bullet designed by Full Lead Taco, with the filler, that's 16 grains of unique with the Dacron filler in here, it shot a .950 group. And the statistics on it are 1,083 feet per second, extreme spread of 21, standard deviation of 8. That's a very good load. We'll go ahead and standardize that load for our use. 0 0.950 inch group at 50 yards. So without the filler, it tried to shoot a good group, but had a couple of flyers for a 1.364 inch group without the filler. And the stats on that are 1,085 feet per second, Extreme spread of 27, standard deviation of 10. So that's actually not that bad a load either. But we'll take the 950 group. So all groups were shot at 50 yards and the load was all standardized at 16 grains of unique. So you'll see that the lighter bullet will have more feet per second, of course. So there's the first group shot with this load the 340 grain bullet and with the filler it didn't shoot that accurately 3 inch group and a standard deviation of 12 so for final conclusions we have some good loads with the Lee 340 grain bullet we're gonna go with 16 grains of unique and no filler no filler to get a 1.230 inch group at uh, 50 yards with a standard deviation of 4. And with the NOE 500 grain Spitzer bullet, we have a load of 16 grains of unique and using the filler for a standard deviation of 8 and 1,083 feet per second and a 950 inch group at 50 yards. Shooters and reloaders, take care. See you next video. Bye for now.